Hi everybody! Welcome back for another Wind Down Wednesday. Uh, it is officially summertime for me, and I'm starting to get into that relaxation mode. Happy Wednesday. Yes. So we finally finished with, with school, all of our post-planning days, and now it is just going to be like eight weeks of I don't care. <laughs> Not for me. I still have to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So you have fun with that. 6 a.m., baby. But I take naps, though. I know. I didn't get to take a nap today. That's my reprieve is a nap. But I have to get up at 6. I work, like, really hard from 6 a.m. till about 11. Take a break. And then I have two businesses now. So the other one, today, I did both businesses today. I mean, I was really busy today. I know. And, uh... Just as it's winding down for me, it's ramping up for it's you. It's starting to get busy, and I've got, I've got another, a new possible new client coming on for the other business. So that's going to keep me really busy this summer, so... I know. Hey, you can't complain. No, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. With inflation and the economy, it's like, I'm doing pretty good, so... So I will, real fast before we get started with the wine, I am sporting a slightly different look tonight. I normally wear contacts, but I was having an issue with my left eye, and I could not could not get the contact to, to like rest comfortably in my eye, so... Left eye? I, no, my left eye. Yes, Lisa, left eye. Lisa, Lopez. left eye, Lopez. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Didn't she die? I think so, yes. She died in a car accident. It was something weird. I don't know. She yeah. was a little crazy. She was. We'll just, we'll just <laughs> she say was. that. Did she like set her boyfriend's house on fire or something? Oh, like, yes. The she... Atlanta Falcon receiver. Yeah. She burned a mansion down. Anyhow, so I'm I'm doing the, uh, the nerdy teacher look tonight. Yes. Okay. Well, it's okay. Yes. I don't wear them very often. I just prefer to wear my, my contacts because I feel like I have better but peripheral vision and everything, but whatever. I'll placate on that for a little while. <laughs> Look up that word. Here's where word, words went for on Wednesday. Oh. Obfocate. Okay, start adding some vocabulary to our... Obfocate means ponder, think. All right. Think about glasses. The things you know. Yes. Okay. I need glasses too, but I don't wear them. <laughs> you do sometimes. I'm like... <laughs> driving down the street. <laughs> Okay. So, let's talk about the wine. All right, so tonight we have a couple of Scout and Cellar favorites. They're, they're, they're like a really big hit on the website. It's a, a pretty good standard that a lot of people like to order. So we're gonna, I, we've shared these on previous videos before, but bringing them back out again just to kind of highlight what again and, and show. It's a little overcast, but at least it's, it's not as hot and humid. Oh, no, it's gorgeous. Tonight, so um, we have the 2021 Dove Hunt Dog Sauvignon Blancs from California. You love that one. Um, I do. I I'm kind of I like some sweeter, like a, a, a more body Riesling and, and Moscato, and I like some of the the white wines. Like the Sauvignon Blanc is typically a little bit drier, not not necessarily as sweet. It is dry. I like it. See, I like the drier. Um, but can't go. I mean, really can't go wrong with the Sauvignon Blanc. It goes well with so many different. Things. Actually, to be honest with you, after all of the Rieslings and all of the the bubbly you've been doing. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a refreshing change. A little change? Yes. Yeah, no rosé tonight. No. <laughs> what do you <laughs> Why do you say it like that? It's always doing rosé. No, we've been doing rosés for spring and, and summertime because they're perfect for this time of year. I know, but, but it's so refreshing. So this one, Dove Hunt Dog, is uh, $25 a bottle. Really? Uh-huh. So and that's like a pretty standard price for Scotland Cellar wines. Usually like the, the Bookbinders Apprentice are, are like on the little bit cheaper, around $18 to $20. I got a nice shipment in today. A bottle. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dove Hunt Dog is more like the, the moderate price. Now the Sole Vente me is, um, is a little bit yeah. higher Which price. one is this? It's actually a it's 2018 just, vintage. 2018? Yeah, that's a, and it's a red blend. But we're gonna, Ooh, we're gonna get to that a in a little treat. bit. Um, and I'll talk a little more about that once we get to that line. So, um, any any thoughts right off the bat, like and your com notes? your your comment about the dryness immediately, it, it is a drier, it is, and, and and because we've been on the rosé kick for weeks and weeks now, it's like, it's almost like refreshing to have a, a dry. She hates dry wine. I kind of I really like. I'm not that. getting dry on the palate though. This uh, is like fruity and crisp. I'm getting here. I get a little bit of lemony. And you then, get a bite? This has been in the refrigerator all day, but um, I pulled it out uh, and it's kind of it's been sweating. like warming back up to, to room temperature. And you can definitely taste more of the flavors when it's just only slightly chilled. Yes, yes. And, but again, I hate to say it, but after weeks of rosé and other sweeter wines to, to open with, this is a drier. It's, 
refreshing like change, yeah. Okay. It's funny how like when you drink wine, it's like you you think after a certain period of time that you don't like something. Because I really never was a fan of this wine. Go back and look, watch the other videos. I wasn't a fan of this wine. And then now it's like, yeah, yeah, I do like it. I do like it. You know? <laughs> it's a good wine. <laughs> look at this dog. What are you eating? I had a little sample on the tray. I was like, oh, this would go perfect with this wine. And the bites are just a little bit too big. <laughs> the chicken? So No, it's not chicken. Oh, you got those scallops? No. It's bacon wrapped pineapple. Oh, I don't like pineapple. What do you don't like pineapple? I do, but... Who no, doesn't like pineapple? I love bacon. Oh my gosh. Maybe I love The sweet and salty along with this and okay so let me get into the description of this wine and you'll see why um i pulled this out to go with this wine it's described as earthy and crisp with notes of lemon lemongrass underripe pineapple and white peach hot off the presses or the bottling line is our new vintage of one of your favorite wines the 2021 doug dog sauvignon blanc is packed with flavors that will make your mouth water loads of zesty citrus run through a bright and crisp wine with some tropical and peach notes. This may be the best vintage yet. So it has notes of pineapple. Well, I'm gonna try it with fruit. What is this? This is apricot? Peaches. This is still from the peaches that we picked at the um, Southern Hills Farm. They're not like real mushy and moist okay, anymore, but- I got a shot. A little bit, oh, you still have a mark there. Yeah. On your arm. You didn't get a shot, you had your blood drawn. Look at my blood drawn. <laughs> I don't look either, because I do this, I go. I'm loving this with the, the pineapple and the bacon, that saltiness from the bacon, and then the, the pineapple bringing out more of that fruity flavor in this? this wine. That is um, pork chop, grilled pork chop. Um, and it was marinated in teriyaki sauce. I know she does it <laughs> one so. Um, so it says, pairs well with any seafood dish, patio parties, and picnics. Um, so I mean, it's just nice and bright and light. Perfect for summertime. You know, honestly, we're, we're in the, we're not in summer yet, but it's a beautiful breezy night out there. Oh yeah, it's definitely not as blazing hot as no, it normally is. No, you can is. sit outside and do this. On a Wednesday night, mm -hmm. you can sit here and do this. I'm not even sweating. You know, in the dead of summer out here, sometimes it's really bad. We sometimes can't. we have to move it indoors in the summer. And sometimes in the summer though, it's really breezy. Maybe the rains have come through and it cool, cools off and we mm -hmm. can do it if we time it properly, but um, we have a little party this weekend we're doing, mm -hmm. so we'll see kicking off, happens. Kicking off the summertime. Mm -hmm. We actually have a little bit larger sampling than we normally do at our parties. Yes. We have a couple of bubblies to start off with, and then I think we have um, five wines that we're going to be sampling. Double bubble? <laughs> a little bubbly. No, we always start off with, with bubbles. I'm the gentleman. He goes, double bubble? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great movie. I didn't catch your reference, sorry. You will when you watch the movie again. Yes. <laughs> um, so the Soil to Sip report, they, they're very like open and upfront about how the wines are produced, what's actually in the wines. It's a great thing that you don't really find with any other type of wine, clean crafted. The Scout and Cellar wines are, you can, uh, they're just, they put it all out there. Um, so it's sourced from several fantastic growing partners, including uh, McFadden Farms, the grapes range in age from 15 to 40 years old. Once pressed, the wine was fermented in stainless steel tanks at cold temperatures for 14 days. And after fermentation uh, was stopped, the wine was aged in stainless steel tanks for four months before bottling under screw cap. So yes, that was a screw cap uh, type wine. So that is perfect for if you're taking somewhere, especially a beach or picnic, and you don't have to worry about like the uh, corkscrew. Yeah. You just, it, it, and then it's real easy to seal back up again if you don't finish it. See, I used to be a, I used <laughs> if to you be, don't finish it. I used to be a snob about, <laughs> I used to be a snob about the screw top wines. I'm not anymore. No. I don't care anymore. I don't care about the cork or the, the screw top. It doesn't really matter because you know what? The wine still tastes about the same. It all, yeah. It all tastes the same. It does. There is no difference. Only the zing sauce. Oh, I, I, I left a couple of things there. It's already poured in the, She's gonna talk. I'll be right in the thing inside. Um, so far, loving this with the um, the fruity flavors. A little bit of the savory with the bacon. Having some of the uh, caramelized onion jack cheese 
with it right now, so I'm gonna sample that. But again, the tasting notes for this wine are um, lemon, pineapple, lemongrass, and peach, and uh, pairs really well with seafood. I didn't pull out any. Is that zing? Um, yes, that is your zing. Um, those are dried cherries. Zing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> almost. Um, but didn't pull out any seafood tonight, no. um, but I could definitely see how this would go with a lot of different um, yeah. fish and shrimp, shellfish, definitely. things like that. Um, so the ingredients of this wine are grapes, tartaric acid, yeast, and sulfites. It is 13.9% alcohol and 0. Oh, 0.36 grams per liter of residual sugar. Boy, you're just like fumble fingers tonight. <sighs> <laughs> I'm stressed. And it's, why are you so stressed? Because of people. It is um, 83 parts per milliliter of um, sulfite, so most of those Scout and Cellar Clean Crafted are going to be 100 or less. Mm -hmm. uh, typically a lot lower than what you'd find in your store-bought wines, mm -hmm. um, and that's for a variety of different reasons. But um, it's 111 calories per 5-ounce serving and 0 0.053 grams of carbs per 5-ounce serving. So did you guys do any wine on uh, Memorial Day? Um, no, we had ribs, so we just, uh, we just have beer. Oh, you said beer? Yeah. You could have done it. I know, there's plenty of Scout and Cellar wines that go great with barbecue. We just opted for, for beer on that day. Um, so, I don't know, like, what do you think about, like, some of the other, uh, savory? I haven't tried any of the vegetables yet. Have you tried that? I like it with the, it cuts the spiciness of the zing sauce. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for spicy, if you're a spicy food lover, it definitely cuts the, the, the zing of it. It cuts that spiciness right in half. Now, I love the dried cherries. Love that. Which is interesting because this has, like, it doesn't lean that direction. Well, you're going to do that with the, the red. Yeah. Now I'm going to try the strawberry. Mm. Yeah. Literally. I know, she desperately wants some snacks. She gets to the point where she stares and does this little game, mm -hmm. and then she'll jump up and get it between us. Forces in her way in between. If you don't give her anything. Right. While she's sitting there. Right. She, she, waiting. Her patience. Her patience is like there. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Thanksgiving when they bring Coda and Koo over, they're gonna have, especially or Christmas. All the dogs. Imagine four dogs. Yes. Just going crazy. With your mom's dog too. Oh my God. Uh, my mom, Beulah's. How's she gonna react to Coda? Coda's a baby. It's just a baby. Well, hopefully by then. I love learn better about like nipping and and Kahlua bites him. Well, I know Kahlua normally doesn't is not a biter. Well, it's a very like passive. Kahlua dog. is teaching him though. Yeah. And that's why I think when she gets older, mm -hmm. you get another one of her, a baby, a young girl, and that pup will chase her around and bite her. I'll have to get like a small breed. I, I won't be able to get no. another one just like her. No, you get the same similar breed. Yeah. But that dog's gonna, you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna chase her around the young ones and try to bite her. She's gonna get mad. Yeah. She's gonna bite her and teach her and say, stop. <laughs> and Kalua, see Kalua do it. It's funny to watch. Kalua bites him hard. Yeah. And he goes, Rawr! he runs in the cage and he goes. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's what you get. And Chris goes, I don't have to beat him. I don't have to scream at him. It's funny. He goes, he just, Kalua bites him and he goes in the cage and hides. Yeah. And Rosie goes, see, I told you so. Coda, <laughs> you're a bad boy. <laughs> well, they all gotta learn. And Koo's the old man. He's the old man. Yes. He still loves me, though, you know. Mm -hmm. If I get the ball and do this, he looks at me and he goes, Arf, Arf. He's just a lover. He loves everybody. He's such a good dog. He's the best dog you've ever, honestly. He's, ask her, the best Very dog. Very mild-mannered dog. With his tail. <laughs> tail. <laughs> <laughs> He comes over, and he hangs out, but he goes to the door. He'll stand at the door and wait. When he needs to go. And whimper. Yeah. And you gotta let him out, or he's gonna... But yeah. Anyways, so... You sell to finishers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we can move on to the other one. So, okay, so I have to preface the, the next one. Um, it, it's a standard that they've had for a while, but they must be in low stock now because um, it does not say, like, Scout Circle exclusive or anything like that. Um, but when I checked recently, I just ordered this a couple weeks ago, um, but when I checked recently, it is not out on the, the regular site. So that may be one of these that pop up a little bit later on when they do a seller's Did I buy this? No, I did. No, on my order? Did uh, I get it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, because you, you're exclusive. I don't think, no, no, it wasn't exclusive. When I bought it, it was just on the regular site. Oh, stop. 
<laughs> no, I, I, I don't get access to some of the special wines. Like, if you're not a member of, of the wine club, even as a consultant, like, there are certain wines that I don't have access to. She's the wine club. No, queen. but if they pull it out as a scout circle unlocked, that means they've taken some of the wine club wines and made it available for everybody else to try. And again, sometimes when wines go to low stock, they kind of pull it back off the main site. I, why do they do that? I'm, like, I'm well, not I don't exactly understand why sure. they do that. I'm not don't exactly you want to sure. sell the wine? I, I don't know. I, there's a way I think I can go on and check the inventory and see like how much of this they, they have but, left. But there's got to be bottles of this sitting somewhere in the warehouse. That's what I'm saying is that sometimes then that they, they pull it out what they call a seller suite. So when they have low inventory wine, so that's why I'm saying it's okay if you don't see it right now on the website, it might pop back up again. You wonder if it's a marketing point? A little bit. It might be. You think so? It honestly might be, yeah. Because this is a, a, a wine that, a, just a, a very common wine that a lot of people like to order. No, she's the wine queen, but she's my wine. That's right. I haven't seen it in a million years. It hasn't been a million years. It hasn't been a million years. <laughs> it's been a million years. <laughs> no, we were, <laughs> what was going on this past weekend? We were just, I was busy. Here's the problem. When you get to be middle-aged, uh, middle you don't want to hear that? Look. When you get to be middle aged, she her kids are now migrating towards they're going to be superstars and do their own thing. Yes. Right? My kids are older and they have grandkids. Well, your grandkids, they have kids. You know, I was at a I was at somewhere the other night and people were like, You have grandkids? Yeah. You look too young and I was like, I know I started young. Yeah, you started early, I that's why. Right. Nineteen years old I was. But um, no, but it, so now I spent, like Memorial Day, I go and I spend time with the, with the babies. And then she, you know, she goes with her mom and dad. And I used to go to her mom and dad's and I would hang out with them. But now I have grandkids and it's like, it's like different stages of our lives. And it's like, it's well, just, it's Well, and like, again, there's, there's no reason why we can't all get together. It gets a little chaotic sometimes with that many people, with kids and dogs and everything else. So, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's nice to have a relaxing, uh, holiday and not have all that extra stuff, but they're always welcome to come well, listen, and, when and hang out with when us. When you have different components from, a, from different families, different divorce situations, you all know this, it's not perfect. It's never perfect. No. It's, it, it, there is no perfection. There is no bliss. Because if there is bliss, there's going to be struggle. Well, and, and again, I, I get it. No. I understand because they have small kids. It is, it's a, it's a pain. It's easier to be at their house. To be at their house than having to pack everything up and get everybody in the car and, and drive Andrew everybody over everything. someplace else. Now, we were in the pool at my parents' house and that was fun and that was nice and everything, but. But the thing about, if I brought them over to the pool, Megan and Chris have to constantly be in the pool, constantly watching, 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 because all they want to do is swim. Yeah. So they can't have fun. Oh. It was funny because when I was married, we figured out a way to pass off took the baton. Well, right, and you have extra people in my family that are there that can help to play with the I had a beer and a koozie. She had her beer and a koozie. Or a Wait, your, your granddaughter is a Rosie. She's a pretty good swimmer, as it is. I mean, you have to keep an eye She's on her. Six, six years old now? And But your grandson, Andrew, I, I mean, for the most part, you could probably just flop him in a float. Is she six years old? Um, no, I think she'll be six. In November? It's funny because I Megan said she's now. kind of she's kind of plateauing on her height. She's not getting any taller. She's getting skinnier. Well, then she's gonna she's reaching that age then where she's gonna start having growth spurts. So you really? kind of level out, and then you have a growth spurt, and then you kind of level out. So it's not as gradual as it's been up to this she's point. She's doing dishes. I know. When she's doing dishes. I looked at her. I, I should have started crying. <laughs> I'm like. She's she's a big helper. She's a good girl. She is a good girl, but if you go to the red. I don't want to get start crying. Okay. <laughs> She'll be graduating from high school. No, you sh know it. shut up. <laughs> shut up. By then I'll be old. I'll be on a, I'll have, I'll have a walk. Oh my I'll be like, gosh. I must, you know, I work out every single day and I have to go see my doctor on, on Tuesday. I got my blood test results For back. For your annual physical. You know what my mother said to me? My mother today, she goes, oh, your, cholesterol, your triglycerides are 202. You know what? She goes, you drink all that wine. She goes, you feed Michelle all this fattening shit. And 
and I was like, I don't feed her fat and shit. Think, you'd think with all of the red wine that we drink that... She asked what yours were, I said hurts. Her, I said, our hearts her, are very healthy. No, I said her, her, her cholesterol's high too, and she, mom's like, you know what, you should put her on Lipitor, put her on Lipitor. No, I'm not going, my, my doctor told me that... Well, uh, it's I'll, hereditary, I'll, you're, I'll, you're a parent. Yes, it, it's partially hereditary. But um, like all of the other risk factors of of showing that like the high cholesterol is going to become a problem and you need to be medicated, I don't have any of those other risk factors. So my blood pressure is awesome. I don't have like high blood sugar. Like I, I, my kidneys and my my liver, everything is is perfect. I did my blood work today and I saw the results. And surprisingly, my liver is in good shape. <laughs> The indicators for my liver. So when I go see the doc, Dr. Maria, I say, hey doc. And she could be like, well your liver is doing good, but you need to cut back. And I would say, full full disclosure, every morning I have two fried eggs, turkey sausage patties, and two slices of rye toast I with butter. I told them it's the eggs. Those have a lot of cholesterol. I, well, so I have, to cut, I have to take that pleasure away from myself? Come on. Then I like it. Mix in like just egg whites occasionally, and and just without to. the yolk. I used to do the Jimmy Dean sandwiches, the delights with the egg whites. And you do the turkey sausage, so that's very low I cholesterol. Could do I love Jimmy Dean sandwiches, and you do too. Yeah. We could do that instead of on Sun on Saturday morning. We could do that. Yeah. I have the croissant sandwiches. We could no, do that. No, you know, having bacon a couple of times a month is not going to kill you. Bacon is high in cholesterol. It, but a couple of times a month is not going to kill you. I do love bacon. I really do love Come bacon. Come on. Honestly, I mean, that's like a... Remember I did the, the chocolate covered bacon? Oh, yeah. Remember everybody went nuts? Oh, that was delicious. They lost their mind. Okay, so let's talk about the red wine. Okay, so again, I have limited information um, about this one because it's no longer available on the, the website, but as a consultant, I can go pull like, for pretty much any wine that, that has ever been in the, in the system. Um, so this is from Provence, France. So you informationally? Yes. In your mail, right? Yeah. Um, it is, uh, so it, this is a, a French wine, so live in Tamis. Um, it is, uh, it's, it, it, translation is, uh, sun, wind, and soul in French. Soul so, et me. Soul et Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. I never knew what that meant. Yeah, soul is sun. All these years, I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. Um. It's been two years we've been doing this. So, it says, let me see what one here what I can share. That's really good. You like this one? Mm. I know, it's a really good standard, but I'm, I'm sad that it's not available anymore. It's peppering. You're getting well. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Mm. Um, okay, Man. so um, okay. I gotta do some. It's bullshit. described as fruity and bold. Yeah, that's specifically for this one. Um, it has notes of bright cherry, wild strawberry, spice, and herb. So I think that's probably why you're getting a little bit of the peppery. It's not you're necessarily spice. pepper, but uh, you have a little bit of spice and herb. So just think about to any of your like. Lamb, pork chops. I, I normally do like like whites with pork chops, but you could do red with pork chops too. When you eat crumbly blue and take a sip of this, it almost is effervescent. Almost. What? And after having the Sauvignon Blanc, I, it I'm almost has a tiny bit of. Oh my God! When you when, of no, there's, I'm telling you, I'm looking at it right now. There, there are absolutely zero bubbles anywhere in this. There's there, no bubbles. But it does kind of. But that's just the reaction of the wine um, and yeah. some of the ingredients. Are you getting goosebumps? Yes. Wow. That's a goose bumper. Okay. Um, so I have the, the cherries. I have uh, the strawberries and blueberries over here I thought would go well with this. The pork uh, would go well. Probably some of the smoky cheese. You don't have the look at that. Would go well with this. No, I didn't have any of that this time. You have this, though. This is a drier cheese. Um, that's, that's like the Merlot-infused cheese, I think, which would probably go well with this. It's a drier Parmesan cheese. Um, so this is, I don't, okay, here we go. 85% uh, Grenache, 15% Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, so the Cafico that I ordered today in my bot batch was Grenache. Actually, Cafico is Grenache because it comes oh, from Spain. Oh, it's Grenache. It's the What's same What's the grape? difference? Grenache is French, Grenache is Spanish. It's the same grape. They just call it something slightly different. Yeah. So maybe this weekend we have filet mignon. Yeah. We could have Grenache. Oh yeah, the Osso Pardo. Oh, I love that wine. You saw the wines I got. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, mix of, of the, the Nest Syrah. Mm -hmm. Remember the Syrah night we did? We did it on video. So last Tuesday, uh, Scout and Cellar did like a, a national like wine tasting, and there was they were uh, using the wines that came in a set. 
that you could order ahead of time so you could have it at your house and watch the tasting live. And you could sample and taste at the same time as our founder, Sarah Shadonix, and one of our uh, master sommeliers was with her and they were going over the, um, the, the different wines. But if you didn't have those particular wines, you can, oh my gosh, what are you doing? No, the spicy. <laughs> Zing is taking command. Okay, I don't know why you do the spicy with the, the wines because it overtakes Here, make everything out with me. else. No. <laughs> she wouldn't make it the spice in her mouth. No. She did. Uh, but even if you didn't have those wines, you could sip on whatever wine you wanted, but just kind of get their take on the ones that they were sampling. It was such a huge success. They decided on Wednesday, the very next day, that hey, um, anybody out there, one day only, you could uh, buy um, any of the wines on, on, their, on their site. I, Did they do a podcast? I'm not sure if it's available. Like us, we're doing a podcast. I mean, right. They they do, I think, once a week that consultants can can like join in and see because then they can kind of explain so you know better about how to share the, the wine. We should search other consultants I, who do podcasts. Yeah, I don't specifically for Scout and Seller, but I don't know if um I don't know if it's available to the public. Look, the ones that they do. If I can get all the, the couples, let me tell you. I'm gonna invite them. But they're all ex-military, they're all ex-Afghanistan, Green Beret. Yeah. Um, I'm ex-Air Force. I am. Yeah. My brother was military police. Air Force. But they call him a pussy though. Mm-hmm. Don't be military police. Actually, the one guy does. He's not coming to the party. I can't have him come to the party. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even going to say names. No. But I will say this, I love everybody. My nose is running from this. I know, it's like you're telling you, stop with the spicy. <laughs> I love the Asian, the, the Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing. I swear to God, if I were to, if you were to drink a couple pitchers of beer mm -hmm. and go have a good time, watch a football game, watch the Gators lose to Syracuse, oh, then stop I it. would order a order of wings with Asian Zing and make her eat them. Okay, so I'm just gonna say <laughs> before I read any more about this, have the um, the pork chops with yeah. the, their um, teriyaki marinated. That goes perfectly with this wine. I love the way that tastes. Give uh, her a little bit. Now, when I cooked this the other night, I, I served it with some grilled pineapple on top of the, the pork chop. And we just had it with some rice and broccoli on the side. But that was delicious. So, do you notice without your daughter here that there's wet you have to cook less? I'm learning or how do you to... you make it more? I'm learning how to cook less. Um, sometimes because of packaging, the way the meat comes and stuff, I have to cook that food that we should end up having more leftovers, but you know what we can have? What? My daughter hates green beans. <laughs> oh, I love green beans. And my son loves it, so now that she's not here anymore and it's just I love and I fresh most nights for dinner. Snip them. Right, there are certain steam. things now we can have for dinner that we couldn't have before. That's one of the things he's really excited about. Uh, but one of the funny parts is, so before, it used to, I always cook and then my kids would take turns cleaning dishes afterwards. Uh, and and <laughs> when it, we finally got to a night when my daughter wasn't here and I had cooked dinner. <laughs> and, he, and it kind of dawned on him all of a sudden, wait. He's, he's, I'm gonna have to do dishes every night now. It's like that's right. He's the only. He's. You look around. You're like, I don't see anybody else. Nope. There's nobody else here. <laughs> but you no, know, I'm gonna say, as you age and your kids move out, you're used to making mm -hmm. large batches of food. I for you last ten years of my life. Put my seasonings on the bark and the skin gets all crispy. When you take it out of the oven, it's all crispy and delightful. Mm -hmm. Next day in the microwave, it's not the same. It's all chewy. You gotta take the, the skin off and throw it away. But um, but I find myself with chicken quarters now. If I buy a big thing of them, I put them like two in a pack mm -hmm. and one in a pack. You have to separate them out before you stick them in the freezer. Because it costs peanuts for me to eat one. Because then you can just pull out one pack, and then if, even if you, I mean, you're not gonna eat two chicken quarters. Well, no. Like like last them. night, I went to Gears and Beers. At, at Sun Creek, we do our we all the classic cars. Mm -hmm. So I put the oven on 300. I put a, a chicken quarter in there. Is that what I had last night? A chicken quarter. I had a chicken quarter. I put it in there, season it. I don't put. I didn't do shake and bake. I put salt and pepper, sage. Mm -hmm. Throw it in there. Slow cook it for 300 for two hours. Off I go to Gears and Beers. Come back. Those people ordered t fish tacos and all this stuff. I only had the chips. Mm. I didn't eat the tacos. Although I should have, because it was free food. Yeah, but... Somebody paid a lot of money. Boy, that last week of school, uh, 
and like last two weeks of school because we had teacher appreciation week and then it was like the last day of school and we went and met up at a, a Mexican restaurant. I was eating a lot of tacos and, and things like that during that week and I was trying to make like healthier choices. Uh, like the burrito bowl with just like, you know, like the, 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 the salad and the, the meat. No, that, not not with all the other, not, not on a burrito, but you know, you get the, the burrito bowl, but you get like salads. And they do like the beans and the cheese and the and the meat and, and uh... We have to start eating egg whites and mm -hmm. lean turkey and chicken I sausage. I know, we do, we need to You know out. what I was thinking about today? What? This is a weird fun fact. Pork sauce, breakfast sausage has less cholesterol than turkey or chicken sausage. But turkey and chicken sausage what? has... Yes, look it up. Turkey and chicken sausage has less saturated fat, but pork sausage has way less cholesterol. I'm thinking, how do you... I thought saturated fat is what causes cholesterol. Or fat. Okay, if you look it up. <clears throat> pork, like, if we went and bought like a roll of pork sausage, mm -hmm. or a roll of turkey breakfast sausage, mm -hmm. There's way less calories and fat in turkey breakfast sausage mm -hmm. versus regular pork sausage, but look at the cholesterol. Cholesterol's off the charts in huh. the poultry. It's off the charts. So what do you do? Yeah, I don't know. We both have high cholesterol, so what do we do? And there she goes. We're both gonna die of heart attacks. Okay, so I'm gonna jump in again about the, the wine. About red wine. <clears throat> I, tr I tried it with um, a variety of different fruits, so strawberries, blueberries, that was fantastic. Had it with some of the, the veggies with our um, our cheese spread that has like the spinach and artichoke and in it. What's your opinion? That was fantastic. Love that. Yeah. Um, so I just had some of the, um, the I can't remember what kind of cheese this is, but it's with the like Merlot infused. It's, it's kind of like a, like a dry Parmesan aged. It is a little bit dry. Yeah. But that goes really well with this cheese. So, I mean, if the sweet, the savory, like all of this goes really well with this wine. Um, so would you do this with, with steak? Okay, well it recommends having with pork chops and uh, with duck and charcuterie. Let's do duck a la I mean, honestly, I would love to try this with duck. You want me to make duck? Yeah. Do you think your daughter would come for duck no, a la again, you just No, again, you just, we're talking about cholesterol and duck is not a great <laughs> option if you have high cholesterol because it's dark meat. <laughs> but, you know, you have it like once a year. Hey, you know. duck, duck, Dr. Maria. That's all right. She's, she's your we'll, age. We'll she's just, 46. Okay, well, well, we'll just like, we'll double down on the omega-3 whenever we have the higher cholesterol foods. I am a unique character. When I walk into the, when I talk to my doctor, she sits down with me and she's like, all right, Joe, right, ready? Mm -hmm. Close the door. <laughs> she gets a notepad out and she's like, I gotta ask you some questions. All right, I want you to know. I want to ask everybody, comment down below if you, if you feel like sharing with us, but I find it interesting within the last couple of years, every time I go in for my physical, my doctor tells me now that they have to ask specific questions about your mental health and are you feeling depressed and are you feeling like uh, like you're not as interested in things yes, as you were before. Yes, they do that. Like they never used to ask me those questions. So they, they do that. I find they that, that interesting that now since it's specifically since COVID. Yes. They started asking these questions. Yeah, because well, no, they asked me today on on when I logged into the um, to like pre-register. Pre-register, they asked me all these questions. But of course, I have a lot of other things. But um, uh, hey, shout out to Tina Turner. She died last week. No, oh, I know. It's so sad. Yeah, but um, I'm playing my advice theme. Oh, okay. This was on my advice season six. This song seems like it was too much after my advice. Seasons, seven seasons. 85, no, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. It's on the soundtrack. I'm, t I'm shocked by that. I thought this was later 90s. I popped in season six today, two uh -huh. miles on the bike. You're gonna love it. It's like Don Johnson gets a little fatter, <laughs> but it's better produced. It's yeah. way better. It's like a movie. Hmm. It's like each episode is like awesome. It's like, hmm. well, he's younger. He looks like me when I was young. I see. I had the white jacket. I had the so I was the sockless straw shoes. I smoked the Lucky Strikes. And the little, like, like longer hair. Yeah, I had the long hair and I had the little thing to hang over here. Mm -hmm. I was a, a hottie, wasn't I, in high school? From the pictures I've seen, yes. I was. Yes. Not anymore, though. <laughs> you don't look like the way you did when you were in high school. Although people tell me all the time, you, you have grand. 
grandchildren? I was like, nah. Hey, I don't look like I did when I was in high school. I used to have bangs. You did? I did. What do you mean bangs, like hanging down? Yeah, they hung down like over my forehead. And that was, but that was the style back then. Yes, it was. I did not, however, most of the girls uh, during that time period would do like the hairspray with like the fountain like wave over to the side. Oh yeah, yeah. With the bangs, I never did that. They moose it. Yeah, I never did that. Remember the moose? You go. Yeah. <laughs> moose. I used oh, to moose yeah. my hair. I like this. I had take my glasses off. I had my hair cut up here, and then my hair was down to here, and I would moose it here on the sides every morning. I put moose in there so it looked wet. And I would, I would walk around with my sunglasses up here, and the girls went crazy. And I had the leather, black leather jacket, smoking a cigarette. I would say it's almost like the movie Grease. You were like a greaser. I wasn't a greaser. Put your hair back, you wore the black leather jacket. Sometimes I didn't wear a shirt under it. I had ripped my muscles. The only thing that would complete the look is if you wore the white basic t shirt and you had the cigarette pack rolled up on your sleeves. Didn't do that. But the, but you you couldn't I couldn't get away with that in school right now, could I? No. A black leather with nothing on it. No. That is totally not in dress code. <laughs> my rippling muscles, right? And because we live in Florida, you'd be sweating your ass off. Yes. Well, I wouldn't do it. Actually, I didn't do that all the time. I did, I did it in a couple, like, it was a half day or something. I'd come in and be all messed up. But I would, I usually wore, I wore things like this. I wore pastel shirts. You had the uh, Frankie Say Relax t-shirt. Frankie you Say Relax. I used to have, like, always had a 5 o'clock shadow, too. Always had the 5 o'clock shadow. Well, if you shaved in the morning, yes, by 5 o'clock, you did have stubble all over your face. Your well, beard grows it, really fast. In the later uh, Miami Vice, he has long hair. He has the shit, he has the hair down here. And that's exactly the way we looked in high school. Okay, so bringing it back to the wine, uh, just a few more facts about this. This is 13.5% alcohol. It is 0 0.2 grams per liter of residual sugar. It has 108 calories per five ounce serving. And that's, it's kind of limited on, um, because it's like the, the, the sharing tasting cards. If you were at like a tasting, you could put this out for people to get, just get some quick information about the wines. And this is, if we look on the spectrum of the, the wines, it definitely is leaning more towards like the, the bolder, heavier red wine. Which I like. Yeah. And, and she's like, oh, I'm not going to drink uh, heavy wine all the time. I'm thinking, this is what we used to drink every night. Every night we drank heavy red wines. Yeah. I Because I really became a, a, a true like red wine drinker and I liked the After heavier me? the heavier red wines, well, even before you, but because like, there was a time period again, I'm going to tell my story again, <laughs> I had to stop drinking white wine because it would give me such terrible headaches. The sulfite level, and it was the store-bought wines. Now, and when I switched over to the Scout and Cellar Clean Crafted Wines, uh, I, I heard about like the lower sulfites and other things in there that maybe might trigger you to have headaches and things like that. So I gave it a try again and I found that I did not have those problems anymore. When I, when I drink the, the white wines, I rarely get a headache anymore. Most women that come to the wine party say the same exact thing. They're like, white wine gives me a headache, I can't do it. And they're right. like, and we're like, just, just trust try us. It. Trust us. And see. You won't. And of all the women that have come here, the next morning, you're like, you know? Right. They're like, I, like, I don't feel any after effects or anything after yes. after drinking these wines. Yes. So, um, but I do love, I love a light Pinot Noir, but I do love the bolder red wines because I feel like I I, I, I get more of the What's flavors. your feeling of, I want your opinion. Now, I bought the Syrah because we did the Syrah last week. I'm two weeks, was it two weeks ago? We, uh, no, last in last week's video. Well, we, I bought, we did I the bought two bottles of that. And I don't think we'd ever tried that one before. I gave it a nine and a half. And, and I didn't like it as much, but I think it was because of the wine that we had before it. So I'm curious to see. You bought a bottle of it last week. We're going to do it with, we'll do it with pasta. Sale. I'm going to try it again and see if maybe I get a different um, If you do with, flavor. with garlic marinara, you might think differently. Maybe. You might be like, wow, this is really good. And great. that's happened a couple of different times. There are certain wines where I tried uh, in, a, in a wine down Wednesday. I didn't like it as much, but when I tried it again, I was like, this, is, this tastes completely different. Do you place for your students? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, around Halloween time. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I play these songs for now, them. No, I think a teacher is watching you. She's watching. Always. <laughs> always watching. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to share about this wine, but, um, so, uh, definitely, you know, like, comment on the, the video, yes. whichever your, uh, method you're watching our YouTube, video on. YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know if you have any questions. Let us know, and we appreciate everybody liking and commenting on the videos. We see it. We see everything. I try to respond. Yes. I'm gonna start putting dirtier memes up there. Oh, stop it. I'm gonna do the filthy meme. No. So if you see bad memes, it's me. Good memes are her. Although she does some bad ones, but. No, I do like corny. But, anyways, <laughs> shout out to our men and women who died our for fallen us. Fallen heroes, our yes. Fallen heroes. Or I United have States, Day. USA, baby. <laughs> anyways, have a good rest of your week. I have a busy day tomorrow. I gotta get off at that. But we will see you yes. again next Wednesday. Next, yeah, next, next week. Next Wednesday. What are you? No, you're not gonna be here. Or do you leave on Thursday? We can't be here. No. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, we are. Don't give away all of our secrets. We are, <laughs> we are gonna be here. We, we have a workaround. We will have a video for you next Wednesday. We'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> bye, everybody. See ya. Bye.